We're now moving to what is going to be our top story through the day. The grand old party, the country's main opposition party right now, the Congress, is all set to welcome a non-Gandhi chief today, a non-Gandhi president today, for the first time in over 24 years. A new Congress president will be replacing the longest-serving Congress president, Sonia Gandhi, who's been the president since 1998, barring two years, remember, when Rahul Gandhi took over in 2017 and in 2019. Now, the counting of the polls will begin around 10 a.m. Final results are expected by the evening. Remember, we've been covering uh, this entire story for you over the last few months. What we do know is the new president is going to be handed the change handled by Sonia Gandhi after the elections at the AICC plenary. Now, the, the key contenders on one side, remember, Shashi Tharoor, who's pitched himself as the candidate for change. On the other side, Malika Arjun Kharge, a senior Congress leader who's very much being seen as the establishment candidate due to not only his proximity to the Gandhis, but also the supposed endorsement by them. Now, very quickly, I want to take you through reactions that have come in from various Congress leaders. Then we'll connect with our colleagues on the ground. Your party is going to get a new president. You, you're one of the very few who have actually backed Shashi Tharoor. You know, why did you back him? Yes, sir, you're wrong. I'm the one of the few who backed him publicly. Many have backed him secretly and silently, and you will see the results when they come out tomorrow. Shashi Tharoor is a prolific uh, speaker, uh, very articulate uh, communicator, and he makes very sharp arguments which are noticed by everybody. Most importantly, he has a fan following beyond politics. And I think the Congress party will greatly benefit by a president who has a following beyond usual party politics because they will notice him and will also be useful to bring them who are not traditional Congress party voters to the party fold. The party establishment must have, should have treated both the candidates equally and evenly and they did not do it for reasons uh, because of a propaganda perpetuated by the entrenched uh, uh, establishment forces and you will be surprised by the support Dr. Sashi Tharoor is going to get in the count tomorrow. All right, we're now going to bring you coverage on this entire story. I have a few colleagues on the ground today bringing us coverage. First, we're going to start the day with my senior editor of politics, Pallavi Ghosh, who's with us this morning to set the ground for us. Pallavi, we're opening the story with you. If you could tell our audiences what they have to look forward to today. Well, I mean, today is the counting which is going to begin at around 10 a.m. And by 2 o'clock, I think it should be clear who's going to be the next Congress president. And then the procedure very simply is that the handing over of certificate to the new president. But the real charge of the new president will be taken only when the AIPC plenary session is held, which we are being told is likely to be held only after the Gujarat elections are over, which means Sonia Gandhi continues as a caretaker Congress president. First time in 22 years since 1998, there has been an election for the top post. And if Sonia Gandhi is giving up charge as a party president, we know this for a fact, of course, that Rahul Gandhi is very much not even interested because he did not even contest. But the challenges are going to be many before whoever the new Congress president is. Clearly, the, the front runner happens to be Malik Arjun Kharge. Uh, but his challenges immediately would be to sort out the mess within the party to ensure that the party remains united. The Rajasthan issue also needs to be sorted out. And apart from that, the upcoming state polls and of course preparations for the big elections of 2024. Palavi, I think the question that our audiences would have going in, and it's a question that we've seen everywhere, is this question of Malika Arjun Kharge versus Shashi Tharoor. What have your sources told you? We just heard from Karthi Chitambaram. The statement that he made was that it's not possible to tell just how many people might have supported Shashi Tharoor because they might be silent supporters. Does your analysis support that? Well, there are 9,900 delegates who are, have voted uh, in these elections. Uh, those were the official figures which were put out. And on record, the party maintained that no one has been asking for votes for no one. Uh, I mean, there's no diktat really that you have to vote for Karge. But when we speak to many leaders on ground, and especially many of them do not and understandably so want to come on record, do admit that there was a kind of an unwritten uh, diktat which said that go for Malik Arjun Kharge. He clearly happens to be the choice and the reasons are very simple and not too far to see. His experience, the fact that he's been seen as someone which his contemporaries will listen to, 
perhaps possibly one who can keep the party together. And as I said, the big challenge is really 2024. A leader would have to be senior when he had, can connect with other opposition political parties to stitch up an alliance. Can Mr. Kuru really do so? Those were the questions which were asked of many delegates. Those who are in charge of those delegates are people who are also considered close to the Gandhi. So I would not see that as a huge surprise if Malika Jun Kharge actually wins with a substantial margin. What would you put, uh, Pallavi, the possible chances of Shashi Thru winning? Or should we not discuss that since, as it is, we can possibly expect the results in just a few hours from now? Well, I mean, as a political reporter, I'm not going to say we should not be discussing Shashi Thru. I mean, you know, we really should wait for the electoral results to come out. But, you know, as I said, I mean, that is something which I've been reporting on. The chips are very much against Shashi Thru. And this is something which he himself indicated when he said at a press conference and even when he spoke to us, that he noticed there was a preferential treatment. There were many state congress offices where he went to, where he didn't get that kind of a welcome, where clearly more arrangements were being made to welcome Shash, uh, uh, Thadmalika Jun Karge mm. rather than Tharoor. So I think even he understands, his own people understand that how the dice is loaded in favour of Karge. All right, Pallavi, thank you. Stay with us, please. Uh, I have two more colleagues who are with us right now. Swastika is live with us. Remember, Rahul Gandhi is, as we speak, on his Bharat Joro Yatra that was set, as you'll remember, to go right from Kanyakumari up north to Kashmir. Swastika is with us live. She's covering that. And we also have my colleague, Shireen. She's with us from live outside Malika Arjun Kharge's residence. We're going to go over first to Swastika. Swastika, I believe Rahul Gandhi is set to address a conference in a few hours from now also. Could you share some more details with us? All right, we'll try to re-establish that connection. Swastika, are you able to hear me? All right, we'll try to re-establish that connection with uh, Swastika in a few minutes. Until then, let's go over to my other colleague who I connected to, Shireen, who is with us from outside, as you can see, Malika Arjun Kharge's residence right now. Shireen, tell us, is there a mood of victory already outside the house? If you could share with us, how are those in the neighborhood, in the community reacting right now? Well, uh, it would be too soon to say if there is in fact celebration at uh, Malika Arjun Kharge's resident. As of now, there is in fact complete silence. But probably once the counting starts and we get to know the trend, because there are about 9,500 votes that are being going to be counted, that is going to begin at 10 a.m. So it is going to take about two hours, two to three hours. So by one o'clock, it will in fact be confirmed that who is going to be the new Congress president, whether it is going to be Malika Arjun Kharge or Shashi Tharoor. But of course, uh, like you mentioned, there is, of course, going to be a lot of people who will be visiting Malika Arjun Kharge, uh, his campaign manager. There are about three campaign managers that includes uh, uh, Rajya Sabha MP Nasir Hussain. Uh, apart from that, uh, Gaurav Vallab. All of them will, in fact, be visiting here. And about 1 p.m., when the picture will be clear, uh, we are expecting that Malika Arjun Kharge will be speaking to the media. 4 p.m. is when the Congress party is, in fact, deciding to officially announce the results. So this is a crucial big day for the Congress party because this this is happening after 24 years of gap. So this is going to be something that everyone's eyes are going to be on. Uh, there is, of course, uh, you know, the rounds of talks that it is going to be Malika Arjun Kharge, who is the favorite of Gandhi's. Uh, he is the one who is going to win. But at the same time, the youngster, the young brigade have, in fact, been uh, putting their support for Shashi Tharoor, and he also seems to be very confident. So who is going to make it is the question at this moment. We have seen how Shashi Tharoor have raised several concerns, how the PC uh, you know, members have not been coming for his campaign in several states. That is one concern, and how it is, in fact, an un, uh, you know, it's not a level playing field as far as Shashi Tharoor is concerned. But we also know that one of his campaign manager, Karthi Chidambaram, has in fact tweeted that there is going to be a surprise. So what is going to be that surprise is something that we have to wait and watch for. But both candidates seem very confident. So by 1 p.m., it will be clear that who is going to be the Congress president. Shireen, thank you so much for those details. For our audiences, right now we are going to be moving on, though this is the story we're going to be bringing you coverage on through the whole day. Right now we have some